my name is Boris Barabanov. I work in a commerce and daily newspaper in Moscow as a music writer, and uh, also I used to, um, from time to time, used to uh, to make some uh, not press, but more like managing or uh, promoting projects around music, of course. So I think uh, I will not talk only as as a journalist here, but also like some producer also. Okay, uh, tell me please, what is the role of uh, music journalism now in music industry? I think it's changing like everywhere, because the um, the borders of this occupation is changing, it's, I think it's disappearing, because uh, having the blog culture we can see that everybody ha who can open his own account in some live journal or Facebook or Instagram feels himself as a journalist, as, as a one, a, a one who can write about music, who can judge, and who, who is not restricted by any rules of uh, journalism or writing that we have in our traditional newspapers. That's why I think that, uh, as I can feel on my own experience, uh, the role of journalist is now uh, mi mixing with uh, the things like managing and promo and, uh, and that, that the things that uh, earlier, in earlier years, it was the opposite side of this industry. So one, one person is making product, other person is judging him or making some cr critical articles or reviews about it. So now it's all merging together. So this is what I think. Uh, how do you think, does the uh, professionalism like, of uh, being a music journalist had changed with these blogs because now everyone, as you told, think they are they can judge music, but they don't have these backgrounds. They just can judge by their taste, you know. Um, what do you think for the musicians? Where look after the really correct music criticism? That's what I'm talking about. You're right, and uh, of course uh, now when I'm I still working in my newspaper and I have people who correct, who check the you know, mistakes and so, so on. And uh, a guy who writes in his blog, he, he can, in his blog, he can just write and that's it. So, uh, of course, musicians need some, um, some opinions uh, to just to have other view than what they think about their music. And uh, what is the way this opinion will be built? I think it's the process that we can see now. And something will change and something will be, uh, as, be shown as a result. But now it's all, it's a, the process that we have. Uh, what do you think about the uh, Baltic music scene going towards the Russian market? Uh, so we have we have uh, great examples. We have uh, one thing is uh, Latvian or Baltic uh, estrada, which uh, has a great tradition from Soviet times, and the festival New Wave here in Yurmala and. Uh, different singers from Latvia, less maybe Estonia and Litva, and uh, this tradition is still going on. This is question of communication between big media structures. The um, broadcasters in Russia who shows all these festivals and uh, who supports these uh, well-known talents from past. Other exa good example is, uh, for example, Prata Vetra band, who has great touring history in Russia, because they have uh, radio and video hits in Russia. And uh, th their story started from writing in Russian. 
language is very important for that market. That's why anytime we, anytime people ask about the secret of getting to Russian market, I say the first thing is language. Uh, but of course, uh, if we will not, if if somebody just cannot write in Russian or cannot take some interpreter who can do Russian lyrics. It's no problem because uh, there are a lot of English singing bands, local or visitors playing in Russia, in clubs, in venues, and they really can accumulate some audience, thousands of people, and it, it can work. But if you really think about great Russian market with tens of cities for your tour, you have to write in Russian and you have to promote the Russian language hit on the radio. You have to, to ask, to, to search for partners in Russia, record labels or promotion co companies or production companies who, who will really support you permanently in, the, in Russia to, to make some new story. So that's what I wish for Instrumenti, because they have all for this, except Russian hit. So I, and I'm, I'm happy that uh, Prata Vetra supports them in this taking to tour to Russia and so on. So that's what I think. <laughs>